If you're watching this video, you probably just installed Mixline and could use some help setting it up. So today I'm gonna to show you how to go from a complete fresh install of Mixline to ready to stream on OBS, to ready to stream on Streamlabs, and have it set up in such a way that when you record your gameplay, it outputs in triple track audio that is good to go in OBS so that your voice the gameplay and your friends' voices are all in different tracks for ultra easy editing. But before we get into all that, let's take a look at Mixline's UI and talk about some audio mixing basics. So Mixline takes audio inputs like the microphone I'm using, the browser windows I have open, Steam, or if I wanna click the drop down menu, I can add any input I want like a game and we're using the finals as an example today. And you can take those inputs and draw lines to the outputs on the right hand side of the screen. Outputs is where the audio exits. Now, typically this would be in something like headsets or speakers, but it can also be virtual like your Mixline stream or your Mixline record to have your perfect audio mixes on stream. Mixline allows you to take these audio inputs and draw easy lines to the right-hand side where we have outputs. Some of the outputs are virtual like our stream or recording mixes, and some of them are physical components like say a pair of headsets that I have plugged into the PC. To send audio from an input to an output, all you have to do is click the plus and drag it where you want it to go. In this case, I'm gonna take my microphone that I'm using and drag it over to the virtual recording track for streaming, but I might not want to put it outputting to my headsets because that would sound a little weird for me to hear myself talk. To get rid of one of these, you can just drag and drop and let them go, or alternatively, if you want a drop down menu, you can click the plus buttons on the left hand side under your inputs. One very important tip is there is a filter button here that only shows active applications. If you click it to show all inactive applications, you might end up with a significantly longer list. I prefer to keep it filtered to keep my routing very simple. Drawing lines to connect inputs to outputs on Mixline is just like using an aux cord to pump audio from your PC to your headsets. After you've hooked up a game capture to say your streaming, recording, and headset outputs, it's very easy to independently adjust the volume on the left hand side. For example, I can make the game very quiet on stream, a little louder for recording, and then all the way maximum volume for the headsets. On the right hand side with outputs, I can change the entire output to the headset, or in the case of the virtual ones with the stream and the record, I can change the volume of the entire output over here, or just independently on the left hand side. Mixline can be used for anything, from having convenient audio management all in one place in one program, to making sure that your microphone and your gameplay have the perfect balance in your virtual output for streaming, all the way to making a multi-channel streaming setup that also records your independent audio sources in different tracks for easy editing. Now it's time for me to take you on a deep dive to show you how to set up Mixline to stream on Twitch, YouTube, both at the same time, and record all of your audio sources and independent tracks if you want to. As a bonus, at the end, I'm also gonna show you how to do this on a dual PC setup. First things first, you're gonna wanna unlock all the available inputs and outputs by signing in with a Logi ID. If you don't have a Logi ID, you can click either input, output, or the little guy in the upper right-hand corner, then click create account. It'll take you to the website. This is a completely free process. There's no subscription, no paid tokens, no nonsense like that. It takes all of two minutes. And after you've done that, all of the features will now be available to you so you can see all the outputs on your system and all of the inputs on your system. Of note, it likes to pick up programs that are open. So if you have your browser open, you have Premiere open, you have your game open, it'll all show up over here on the left-hand side. If this gets a little too busy for you, there's a filter button up here that hides inactive applications. So now we've got Mixline fully unlocked and in a blank slate. So let's get started with the tutorial. You'll notice on the left-hand side, we have all of the possible inputs for our system, including several programs that are open. And we have Mixline stream and record as our virtual outputs, but I want to be able to hear on my headset. So I'm going to enable the TC Helicon Go XLR so that I can hear what's going on. That's gonna be the output to my headset. As I mentioned before, I have music playing in Google Chrome. I have the finals open and I even have Discord going. So we're gonna get everything set up from this point and let's go back to Mixline. First thing you wanna do is go to your inputs and we're gonna add Discord and we're gonna add the finals, and we're gonna add Google Chrome, which will be our music, but if you got Spotify or something else, that's fine. And there's two ways you can do this. You can literally click and drag so that my microphone goes to the stream and another one shows up, and my microphone also goes to the recording track. We do different volumes on them if we want to. Uh, we can put Discord in both tracks if you would like. And then we can put the finals in both of these tracks. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So you're gonna to want to be able to stream on Twitch and YouTube 
but also be able to listen to music. So there's two ways to do that. You can take this Google Chrome and you can drag and drop to where it only goes to your headsets. So you play music and all it does is go to your headsets or you can do this in a way where you also have a music track going to your uh, Streamline only, but not the VOD track. And we'll treat Mixline Record as the VOD track, which won't have any music. So the cool thing about this is that you can independently adjust any of these. For example, if I think that my output for the finals is too loud, which it probably will be, we can turn that down. We can turn our mic down, keep our mic uh, down here, keep it different there. If my friends are being loud in Discord, I can adjust their volume and put it in different places. And the same is true of the music. And of course you control your volume and your outputs over here with the sliders on the right. I know this is a little bit messy and you probably want to hear what's going on. And if you want to be able to hear that, what you want to do is click on one of these little ear icons on the right hand side to monitor this output, which I'm going to do right now. So this would be the basic setup where you have your microphone going to both the stream and the VOD track. Discord is going to the stream and the VOD track. The gameplay is going to the stream and the VOD track. And the way I have it set up, my music is just for me and for the stream but won't be saved on the VOD and if I want to mute it or turn it off we can just click a button there. As a couple of quick notes for accessibility features, yes you can click the cables and throw them away and unplug them as if they're real or you can click this little plus here and select the very specific output that you want going on. If this gets very messy and there's things you're not using, you can click this filter and it'll turn off programs that are offline. I actually have a clip from this on my accessibility PC where I just have a ton of games on here and click the filter and I turn them off to greatly simplify the routing. One very important thing to note about Discord is that in order for Discord to work properly, you're gonna need to go to your settings, then voice and video, the, the microphone inputs, just the normal microphone, but the output device, you're going to want to choose speakers mix line. And what that will do is route all of the Discord audio through Mixline properly so that it gets sorted out into these additional channels. Another very important thing to keep in mind is that you do not need to change your Windows settings at all. So this is going to be my configuration for streaming on Twitch with OBS and Streamlabs. For your microphone, you can input your microphone directly into Mixline and then your Mixline stream and record and even monitor via your headsets if you want. However, personally, I prefer to keep the microphone off of Mixline and instead input it directly in OBS because this will allow me to put the microphone audio in its own track, which we'll talk about later. For OBS, the first thing you wanna do is go to settings and then you want to go to audio and you and your ancillary audio devices want to select Mixline record and you want to select Mixline stream so that you have your two outputs here. I actually prefer to have the stream on top and record on bottom just a little easier for me to remember. We hit apply, but we're not done yet. We need to go to output and we need to enable the Twitch VOD track, which by default is going to be track number two. That makes it very easy to work with. Oh, and of course we'll hit apply and okay. And now you'll see that we have these additional audio devices that have showed up in our audio mixer in the bottom. Uh, I like to turn them down just a little bit in case there's a slight chance of clipping. And if you go to properties, you'll see that Mixline Stream is there and Mixline Record is there. Now at this point, everything is already mixing and sending in properly. So if I click the finals, that should start playing once I'm tabbed in. But now that I'm tabbed into the finals, you can see that it's playing some audio. So we'll go ahead and tab out super quick. The next step is a little bit more complicated. As you can see, I have a primary mic and two secondary mics now in the track. The one that I put here is actually the Steam streaming mic. It was a little bit of a dummy I used for an example because we're recording on the second PC over on the other side. But mic number two here is Mixline Stream and mic number three is Mixline Record. So you wanna click on one of these, go down to Advanced Audio Properties. We're going to make sure that our main microphone is in track number one and in track number two. We're going to make sure that Mixline Stream, everything we want the stream to hear, is also in track one and in track two, but this is where it gets different. If we want the Mixline recording to be a little bit different, our recorded audio, we turn off track number two. And what we've effectively done by turning off track number two right there is we have turned off our Google Chrome music that was playing copyrighted music, which would get us all in trouble. And that also means that if you're recording via this method, you're not going to be recording that music audio because track number two is just the VOD track where you have your game, your Discord, and your microphone, but not the music. 
So at that point, we're pretty much done setting up for OBS. Streamlabs is going to end up being very similar. You wanna to go to settings in the bottom left-hand corner. We're going to select that. Then we are going to make sure that we are set up to stream on Twitch and we are, we're logged in, which will enable us to click this link to turn on the Twitch VOD track, which again, we have set to track number two. Then we go down to audio and we are going to make sure that we have our secondary microphones enabled, same as before. We're going to have Mixline stream on top. I like that better. And then Mixline record on the bottom. So we've got our additional audio inputs done. We hit done down here. We're gonna go ahead and mute any additional system or desktop input. We see we have our microphone going already in its own track. And we're gonna go ahead and mute the stream cam just in case it makes some noise. And on Streamlabs, the advanced audio settings is in the upper right hand corner of the settings box. We're gonna click that. And we're going to make sure that we have our chat microphone in track one and two. That'll be the stream and the VOD. We have our microphone mix line stream in one and two so that the stream will hear whatever music we're playing. But our second microphone, which is mix line record, which again, we have set up to be playing copyrighted music. We just turn that off and bang, no music on stream. We're good to go. Next up, let's talk about how to set up this multi-track audio recording so that you get your voice, gameplay, and friends and or music all in a different track. First of all, you don't actually have to change anything on Mixline once you've got it set up. We'll be doing all of it in OBS, which I still have the finals open right now. In order to do this, what we're going to need to do is go to our settings again. Then we are going to go to output. We've got our Twitch VOD track on track number two. But when we go to recording, we're going to actually scroll down here. Only for recording, we are going to turn off our master track. And instead, we are going to turn on tracks three, four, and five, being your microphone, your gameplay, and your friend's audio. And we'll hit apply. Okay, and then we have to go to our advanced audio properties again, and this is where it gets a little complicated. We have our microphone and Mixline stream and Mixline record. So what we do then is for our recording track, we know that we're only using three, four, and five. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna clear all of this to make it simple. So we've cleared out that block. So I want my microphone in track three of the recording track. I want my gameplay in track four of the recording track and I want my music and or Discord friends voice in track five of the recording track. So the way it'll look here is you have everything in track one, which is kind of your master mix. Then we have track two, which is gonna be just for the stream. And for the recording, it's going to record three, four, and five, which as I mentioned before, and have a nice little example of, is going to be our microphone, our gameplay in this track, and then our friend or music or whatever in an additional track so that we can adjust them independently. It all bakes into the file. You'll only see this in Premiere. If you're looking at like Windows Media Player or something, it won't uh, show this quite so natively. On Streamlabs, the setup is very similar. Go to the settings in the bottom left-hand side. Then we're gonna go to output and for recording, and this should only affect recording, we are going to disable recording of track one and we're going to turn on tracks three and four and five. And then we're gonna hit done. And then we're gonna to go to our advanced audio settings on the right hand side of our audio mixer. And then over here in this track, which is very interesting, you what we want for our recording tracks is we want our chat mic only in one of them. We want our mix line stream, which is our gameplay only in one of them. And we want our mix line record, which is going to be our uh, music and or discord chat to only be in one of them. So it's only going to record tracks three, four, and five, and it's going to stream the master mix, but without music for the VOD. And when you're done, we just hit X. And just like before, it'll output triple track audio in your recording so that you can adjust your sound, your friend's sound, and the game sound all independently. It's a godsend for content creation. And lastly, I promised you a dual PC setup. And what's awesome about Mixline is that you can do a dual PC setup without a mix amp. Most people are currently using some kind of mix amp. The Go XLR is the most popular one, but Mixline can do everything the Go XLR can do for free. All you have to do is get a 3.5 millimeter jack on your gaming PC or whatever PC you're running Mixline on. I'm gonna recommend getting an aux noise filter for your 3.5 millimeter jack, just in case you have a grounding issue. You don't want the audio you output to buzz or hum or have any kind of weird sound in it. Plug that in 
and then you plug the other end into your streaming PC into the line in. So on your, on your gaming PC, line out, streaming PC, line in. And the moment you do that, you'll immediately see new outputs. Now on mine, the line out is this real tech, high definition audio output line out. It might register as a headset, a speaker. Every motherboard's gonna have a slightly different name, but this is the output to the second recording PC. So all you have to do is just draw lines to this however you want and it'll output all the audio over there just in whatever sort of configuration your feeling is right for you. The downside to this method though is that it's going to go over there in a single track. The recording PC won't be able to do the cool triple track audio thing, but you can put whatever sort of mix you want over here just like you did with the Twitch main track and VOD track and you can monitor it and even have a different output level for recording if you want to. Well guys, that's all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'm gonna need to take a minute to redo all of my audio settings and kind of put them all back the way that I wanted them because I changed everything for the purpose of this tutorial.